Hi, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for November 29, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, Personal Readings, and much more. Uh, if anybody would like to make a donation to my YouTube channel, you're welcome to go ahead and do so, which is at tarotbarbie.com. You can find that on the homepage, down, scroll all the way down to show appreciation, to show gratitude for all the videos and all the hard work that I've placed on my YouTube channel for the last three years. Um, also, Virgos, the reading special is also going up. Uh, for anyone who's interested, it's a Christmas special. You get 20 minutes uh, plus a five-minute uh, f- uh, free uh so 25 minutes in total. You can purchase as many as you'd like to if you're interested in that. And then also the Twin Flame tarot cards are also on sale with the coupon code Twin Flame 101 for anyone who's interested. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming in with the Six of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Somebody here is very, very upset and very disappointed as of right now. They're not happy with the energy of the fact that they're continuously carrying all this negative shit onto themselves, knowing the fact that it's unjust and un. It's unjust and it's injustice as well. A lot of people are coming up against you because they see something within you. And a lot of people are not happy over the fact that you continue to shine, you continue to bloom. And no matter what, during Mercury retrograde, that's going to be coming in. It's going to be the Mercury Kazemi that's going to be coming in. We're all, uh, Mars already happened, but Mercury retrograde and then Mercury Kazemi is coming in very soon, Virgos. And that's going to be bringing in a lot of negative energy on those who did bad on you. Their karma is going to be so severe. Their karma is going to be so severe once Mercury retrograde takes place coming in. So they're so the ones who are continuously doing bad on you guys and you're sitting there defending yourselves, they're going to have a really, really hard time in the year 2024 for the things that they've done to you in the year 2023. If they thought that that energy is going to be able to kick in, they're going to be good in the year 2024. They're saying, no, sorry, it's not going to happen. They're going to have to learn the repercussions of their actions in the year 2024. So them going into the new year is all negative energy because of what they did to you, right? They're not victorious at all. They don't want you to win. They don't want you to win. Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, they're all hurt and heartbroken over the fact that they did a lot of bad things to you. They kept saying injection, injection, They and injection, Virgos, what is that? Um, anyways... I'm not going to get into it. I'm, I'm not going to go into it like that. But I think deep down, whatever this person is trying to do with their injections, it may not actually end up working with the six of wands, ace of swords, three of swords. No, it's a lot of pain. It's a lot of heartache. Somebody here has been trying for a while, but whatever is happening, it's not going to work out for them in the end with the ten of swords, two of wands in reverse. No, they're not looking at things at a higher perspective. This is not the way to do things. Um, especially on the enemies on the six of wands in reverse. That's not the way to do things. Also, Virgos, um, your enemies thought that them coming up after you, that they thought that they were going to win some sort of prize, whatever it could have potentially had been, all right? And Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is going to end, they're going to end up really hurt and heartbroken. Uh, they wanted you to be hurt, and but in the end, it's like no one's no one's putting up with their crap anymore. Two of wands in reverse, Somebody here is really upset, hurt, and heartbroken. There's the Cancer Pisces Scorpio you guys are also dealing with who is lying to you, deceptive towards you, and who may be hanging out with a bunch of people with the Knight of Wands, Three Cups. There's some sort of celebration, and in that celebration, there might be some sort of uh, fight that's going to end up happening as well with the Five of Wands. There could potentially be some sort of fight. Something bad could potentially end up happening with the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. If you guys are not careful with your energy and who it is that you're hanging out with, then yeah, you know, you're going out there and partying and drinking and then you're not sure what not sure what other people are carrying with them whether it could be whatever but it is the five of swords and the five of wands you're gonna have to make a quick move to make a move fast if you don't feel like the energy is safe for you you need to get out of there as fast as you possibly can you got to get out of there as fast as you guys can also virgos people don't want to see you happy you know they are continuously running to their brethren and put play, play like all your brethren like all of these brethren like whoever's clicking up against you on the five of swords and coming up against you and they're like they're all they're they're all enemies to each other anyway so it's like you just sitting and being by yourself that's the right thing to do at this point because everybody that's clicking up they are not friends with each other anyway they're all using each other for something in the end can you do this for me? Can you do that? Yeah. And then the moment that they don't like something about you, they go and they go do something like that too. Like they all, they're all hitting each other with something. 
and that all has to come to a complete ending anyway and you're like sitting there working by yourself with the three pentacles you're like i'm not worried about you like you guys like your enemies are so simply freaking worried about you to the point where you don't even got your eyes on them like you're focusing on your own happiness at the end of the day and you guys got like a lot of people who are in the energy and who are jealous of you, envious of you, who are trying to compete with you, people thinking that because they're all clicked up in, in little clicks and they have their own little tiny gangs. I don't understand what your little gang is. You're not a, you're not a Bodmon. I don't see no Bodmon energy over here. You're a you're you think you're you th think somebody here thinks because they're in a gang when it comes to their magic and their witchcraft or whatever the ca case is that you think you're in a fucking gang. You're not a gang. I don't understand tarot readers who call out gang gang stuff like you. You're not a gang. Don't don't do that type of shit. Don't do that because you're not a part of that. You're not type. You're not you're not in that lifestyle. So why are you doing that for? So maybe this is the thing. Somebody here could also be a part of that stuff and it has nothing to do with magic, but you're in a part of it and you're trying to find a way out of it because it's no good for you and you're not listening to your intuition. Somebody here keeps warning you, don't be on the streets for that long. Don't be on the streets for as long as you want to be on the streets for it. Get out of there. You should not be on the streets. You should not be doing any of that stuff. All right? But for the ones who are, who are bringing that gang gang thing into the whole tarot you're not that don't do that you're not you're not living that lifestyle don't live that don't think that people like living that that type of lifestyle because they don't they were raised in that hood they were doing that stuff that's what they grew up to you know you don't you're living this luxurious lifestyle and then you want to bring up that gang gang thing yo bro what are you doing fall back for a second fall back you're not living that lifestyle you're not living that lifestyle so don't be acting like you are you know, <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. So I don't think like the, I don't think the goons are really a pre like the spiritual goons. I don't think they fucking like that you're doing that. So none of my business. I'm just the messenger. Uh, five of wands, five of swords, three of pentacles, sun card. You guys are going to keep minding your own business and working. There's a Gemini Libra Aquarius that you guys don't really want to deal with or be around in any way, shape and form heavy on the Gemini. Uh, this person is clicking up with a priestess in reverse. This is a very dark priestess. And whatever this priestess is, this priestess is saying, she's saying a lot about you, though. She's talking. She's the priestess in reverse. Priestesses usually don't talk. They're very quiet. They don't say anything at all. You know, this priestess here, she talks a whole lot. Uh, and she's talking a lot about you to this king of swords. And this king of swords is needs to understand to mind their own business and to kind of fall back in a way. Maybe this priestess is telling this king of swords all of this stuff about you. Meanwhile, this person doesn't even realize that you're actually the victim the entire time and all these people are attacking you and coming after you. You are the nine of wands and the star card. You're shining, you're a star, you're living your best life. You guys could be readers as well. Star card, nine of wands, you guys could be in the limelight. You do something of that energy you know you guys are you guys always shine you're bright stars it is what it is and you somebody here just king of swords could have also been doing love spells on you in the past from because of a dark priestess who may have asked them to do it and they're saying you're not dealing with that negative energy either nine of wands you're going to deal with it and put an end to it um and this high priestess kind of needs to fall back too because in the end she's working of the underworld energy and whatever's going on between the two of those people, you're not going to fall back. You're going to defend yourself. You're going to keep defending yourself. And it is what it is. And if they want to be foolish to kind of swerve lanes and whatever, they're saying, okay, no problem. You can swerve whatever lane you want to swerve into. This nine of wands is still going to defend themselves. It doesn't really matter. Um, in the end, somebody here is going to have to make a decision. But you guys are blocking out a lot of negative energy, especially coming into the new moon. And things have been a little bit slow and steady for you guys, but I think deep down, everything is like God's rejection is God's protection. Whatever is not working out for you right now, it's slowing you down. Whatever is slowing you down is because God wants you to be slowed down right now because whatever's happening, things are being exposed. While So while things are being exposed right now, you're not in the picture. You're not in the picture. You're not in the picture. You're, you decided to fall back and God decided to remove you out of the way. So when you go ghost, when you don't do nothing, when you're not in the energy, when you're not present, that's God's, that's God's energy protecting you. Because whatever he's doing on the enemies as of right now, God's stepping in, Hierophant. 
And he's exposing all of the enemies. He's exposing all of the jealousy. So let's see what happens when you're not in the energy anymore. Let's remove the you. Let's let's get you out of the energy. You're not you're not doing nothing. You're not in the energy. No, nobody knows what's going on with you. Nobody knows where you're at. Nobody's heard from you. Nobody's seen you. Nobody's nothing you. So you're not in the energy. So what if you're not in the energy, then what's wrong with all the enemies? What's wrong with all these people? Because God's exposing the enemies right now. God's exposing the Queen of Wands. God's exposing the High Priestess in reverse. God's exposing the King of Swords. This is all coming in right now. You guys are not going to be in the energy at all right now. So when if you're not in the energy, then why should people be attacking you? If you're not in the energy, then who's to say that you're the one to blame? Everybody wants to look at you like you're the bad man, like you're the bad guy. You see me? But you're not. So ha if, you're not, if you're not around, how are you the bad guy? You understand me? So it's like everybody has to blame you. They all got to blame you because they don't want to look at themselves and realize that they're not the good people, right? So they just need to point their fingers at you to give them a reason for them being a shitty person. Uh, four of Wands, Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it is what it is. You guys are going to live your life and have all your blissfulness no matter what. And this Queen of Wands, she might be like very angry or upset over the fact that you're still blessed. Like you're still good at the end of the day. And... <laughs> realistically speaking, Virgos, that Mercury retrograde is coming in and it's going to hit a lot of your enemies very hard. You're not being in the energy. You're not coming through. You're not showing up for nothing and nobody at this point. I mean, you minding your own business and just staying in your own lane is exactly what's supposed to be happening right now because your enemies don't even know what's going on. All they're so busy is attacking, 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 talking shit, running their mouths on you, thinking that they're in some sort of like gang, gang, click, and they're not, it's just a spiritual warfare, <laughs> you know, you, you, I, I don't see you going to go do one to somebody, I, I don't see you doing that, I don't see you doing that, because you're not living that lifestyle, so you need to put that energy away, and kind of calm down and be still for a second, especially you, you spiritual people who are on thing and 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 calling out that energy like yo you're not living that lifestyle so fall back for a second um, but God is in fact doing whatever it is that he needs to do to protect you from all the snakes and all the heifers yeah God's gonna make sure that you get you're good at the end of the day and God's gonna and and God is going to delay you victim for what your enemies have done to you so god's rejection is god's protection god's slowing you down god not letting you show up nothing in certain situation places and things because god is protecting you so that way everyone else is going to get it so if everyone gets gets it while you're not in the energy that means you're not actually the problem they are the problem so they're asking you to be still at the moment with the hangman and the strength card you're going to get everything that you ever wanted you're going to keep speaking up speaking your truth but nothing and nobody can do nothing to you guys at the end of the day and everyone's upset about it, the fact that you're still smarter than ever you're still smarter than everybody and you're you're going to keep staying smarter than everybody virgos you're smarter than everybody if you are a virgo and you are on attacking everybody i don't think it's going to look good for you to be honest with you um, Virgos who are the ones who are not doing nothing, you guys are going to be okay no matter what. They had like a little warlock here doing a lot of negative stuff onto you. But I think in the end that this person here, like they, somebody here asked this little you to come through for them, but they're just a little you at the end of the day. And this little you here has no idea who they're coming up against. No, they have no idea who they're trying or anything because they're falling into the nine of sword energy. The moment that they help this person, they end up getting it. And you guys end up getting blessed up anyways. You're like, ah, that shit didn't touch you. Nothing, nothing at all. 1331. You guys are moving on with your life. And whoever is clicking up with each other with the two of cups, uh, they are going to come to the realization that they made the biggest mistake coming after you. That's a huge mistake. You can see it right there that that's, the, that's someone's biggest downfall right now. You coming up against somebody who's all, who's protected, divinely protected, divinely guided, divinely loved, uh, defending themselves, defensive. You came up against somebody who has no problem. They'll take on a whole entire clique. They don't they don't give a shit. You guys, two people are gonna sit down. They're gonna talk to each other. They're gonna hold each other. But like, I don't know why we came up against this person. Why did we come up against them? Why? this person doesn't back down no the fuck they don't no the fuck they don't they don't back down for nothing and they don't back down for nobody they don't care you can come up with 10 people whatever they're not gonna fall back they're not gonna fall back because this person knows they know that they're not wrong you don't do that to people you don't do that to people you don't bully people you don't intimidate people you don't try to interrogate people this person here don't give a shit about anybody at this point 
Therefore, they're, they're, they do what they need to do to take care of themselves. You want to come up against a warrior, a warrior with a good heart, then expect to be defeated. Uh, two people are a few people from what I'm, they're just showing me the two people with the two accounts, but I see two people like hugging each other saying, I don't know why we came up against this person. It was the biggest mistake of us doing that. And the seven of wands is like, you're right. You're damn friggin' right that you made a big mistake coming up against us because we're not, we're not going to let this shit slide. We're not going to let it slide. We're not going to let it slide. Not, somebody here is not going to let their crap slide. Even if you did fall back, they're still not going to let it slide. You came to them. You threw hands first. You need to understand to stay in your own lane and mind your own business. Uh, people are really talking about you. These people are talking about you. They're like, yo, we came up against them and we know that we shouldn't have done it. All right. So they're realizing that now. Uh, coming with the justice card, the six of swords and the four of cups. You guys are going to move towards whatever it is that you guys need to heal from. There's going to be opportunities that are going to come towards you guys, Virgos, where she's going to be able to place you guys in a position of making sure that you guys are going to always be blessed and always okay. Uh, Spirit and the angels love you guys very much, and they are protecting you at this time. You guys are always going to be well, no matter what. And in the end, you guys got a lot of good things coming towards you guys your enemies are going to be feeling the repercussions of their actions with that wheel of fortune because they're going against the cynical of life they're going to keep repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and over again not just now but in every past life they continuously be bad bad people when are you going to learn to be a better person when are you going to learn to change that for yourself with the four of swords those jar spells you, you're done with the jar spells yo you need to fall back off that jar spell because that jar spells you you just Stupid. That's all I hear. Stupid, stupid, stupid. You sit and you invest your time with all these jar spells and your jar spells are doing nothing but swinging it right back onto you. Fall back. Yo, anybody knows, anybody knows you're doing something too, you're, you're doing a little bit too much of something. Your things are not working. They're hurting you. Why aren't you falling back? Why aren't you falling back? Hermit card, fall back. They're telling you to go within. Look at what you're doing. You're doing all this dark shit, but that dark shit is just finding its way back onto you. Tower card. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You guys know how to take care of yourselves, Virgos. You guys know exactly how to take care of yourselves. Absolutely, you know how to. You are in a position that anytime anybody does anything to you, you, like, hit that shit out of the park. <laughs> Yeah, and I think deep down, Spirit is asking you guys at this time to just stay absolutely uh, patient and ground yourselves at this time, Virgos. Go within, hermit yourself. Some of you guys are just falling back at the moment. And you guys are literally dipping out, out of anything that's not meant to be of your highest good. Uh, a lot of people are just going to keep talking and running their mouths on you guys and, and, and stalking you, watching you the entire nine. But I think in the end, it's like they're going to be blocked from their finances with the four of pentacles. And you guys are protected at the end of the day. And you guys got a lot of greatness coming towards you guys. Uh, Spirit is asking you guys at this time, learn to how to put endings to certain situations. Be the fool. Be the fool. Live your life and be the fool. It's not your problem that people want to underestimate you. So that fool energy, they're blowing that horn. They're saying, you're so their spirit guys are saying, you know, we're ready to put an end to it. We're ready to put an end to it because you did something way too many times and you did it out of unjust unjust, and you did it out of your emotions. You don't work out of your emotions because that's the only way you're going to end up destroying yourself. You got to be smarter than that. And they are left in the five of pentacles. They're left in the five of pentacles now. And Spear and the angels are calling judgment on all the spiritual warfare you guys have been going through. They're calling judgment on all, on all of the attacks of what your enemies have done onto you guys. You guys are closing out lots of cycles at this point with the Ten of Pentacles. You're closing out all of the cycles. 10-10 is coming in for you guys. The energy of 7-11 is coming in for you guys. Spirit and the angels are not playing about you in any way, shape, and form. They love you and you only. There's a lot of people in the energy who are low vibrational, who are very low and vibrational, very toxic, very addicted to your energy that when they don't seem to get your energy they feel effed up they feel effed up they need your energy they need you they need your energy they need to feel content they need to feel good because when you're in the presence you you do something very magical for a lot of people out here and without your energy out in this energy with you with you with your energy not being present they go back into that devil energy it's right here for you they go back into that energy. 
because you're sitting there helping people. You're talking to them. You're guiding them. You're showing them health. You're showing them peace. You're showing them healing energy. And the moment that you're not around because of how magical you are, the moment you're not around is the moment that they go back into that toxic shit. People don't realize how much you're actually protecting them. People have no idea how much you're helping them. People have no idea how much of an impact you bring towards them. The moment your energy is no longer present, these people start suffering. They start going through things. They start feeling weird shit happening to them. People have no idea how important you are to their life until you're gone. Thanks, cuties. Bye.